buddy, how's it going? Alright, so I got some tips for the beginners from the beginner's perspective. This great book. I got this book. I'm very happy I got it. It's called The Book of Blacksmithing. It's uh, written and illustrated by uh, Patrick and Michael Cardiff. Um, you know, they give you all of the basic knowledge you need to set up a basic shop for blacksmithing. They explain all the basic tools. Um, they, they, uh, you know, they, they talk about how to make your own tools, how to make your own tongs, you know, you know, they tell you how to get going with just the essentials, and it's just not about, you know, basic blacksmithing, but just, you know, making art stuff or, or doing repairs and stuff like that. I mean, you know, at the end of the section, they show you how to make a basic knife, because I know a lot of you guys are like me. You, you did get started in this because you're interested in the blade smithing. But, you're not going to be able to do any blade smithing without these basic knowledge and tools and, you know, how to use your hammers and stuff like that. Um, Alright, so I'm going to talk about the first two things that I'm in the middle of making with my forge and my, my anvil here. I made my first high party tool. I made this out of leaf springs. I, uh, I, you know, I cut it, and shaped it, and annealed it, and, you know, did the heat treating and everything. This came out really good. Um, my welding's really not to be desired at the moment, but it is getting better. I got some wormholes. Uh, but, there, that works really good. I've used that a few times. Um, now we're going to talk about my, my first attempt at making tongs. Horrible. You know, I was a little too eager at, uh, you know, going into making these, and I didn't take enough time. I was, uh, using too hard hammer blows. Like, I was really good at drawing it out in a bar. Like, it comes out in a square bar, you know, I can draw it out, make it longer, make it go square. That's great and everything, but, you know, I wasn't, you know, really keeping it hot enough. You know, and I was doing things to the steel that you shouldn't do at certain temperatures, like when it started to cool, cool like trying to bend it and whatnot. That could create stress fractures. You don't want to do that. So when you're working with steel, you want to keep it hot. You want it in the red. So after you shape it a bit and you see that it's starting to lose that color, you got to pop it back in the forge and let it heat back up. Um, that you want to keep it clean. So you're going to need that. You're going to need your steel brush. I, I've been using my, my steel brush a lot more. Um, now I'm going to show you my second attempt at making the tongs. They're coming out way better. See that? This is, this is halfway through the, the, the process right now. So, you know, I, I, I started out with one long stock, you know, I heated it up, I twisted the bar, I hammered it down, the shoulders are right the way they're supposed to be. Um, I'm very happy about my second attempt. I feel like I'm accomplishing something this time. And you gotta keep the steel hot. That, that's the thing. You gotta keep the steel hot. Don't work too fast. You know, you don't have to really like drill it all the time. You know? And the thing you have to know about when, you, when you're twisting steel and whatnot, because it has carbon in it, it, it likes to stay in that form. So you gotta keep it hot and get it annealed so it wants to stay in that position because if you're hammering on it, the, the, the head's going to want to twist back the, the jaw. So you want to keep an eye on it, you got to keep the steel hot. Yeah, and got to follow the direction. He's got great directions, great illustrations here. Making a quick pair of quick tongs. You know, I need something longer because the forge, the gas forge, is blast heat right in there. I mean, it's it's hot, and you can't really get in close and really fiddle with anything, you know, with, with a short pair of tongs. Now, here's a here's a set of blacksmith fairy tongs I got off the internet. These things are probably twice as old as I am. So, yeah, and they're not very long. You see, they're they're real, real short, and it just kind of sucks getting in there with those, these things. So. I would suggest picking up that, that book, it's a great book, and then just take your time with it, have fun.